Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. Okay, well, I'm a little bit cheesed off. <gasps> Tell me why. Because you let Mosby lick my whole freaking seat. Now my ass is wet. I have to sit on this pillow. I thought he was licking his hand. How he was wasn't. I to know that he would be licking the couch? Fair enough. Fair enough. What's, What's up, everyone? everyone? Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing? This oh, is oh. a little pre-record situation. <gasps> oh, <gasps> we have to. We have to pick a winner. Oh my god! I forgot. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I <laughs> we're terrible. At things. You're gonna watch me pick the winner live, live right now. Okay. So what so I'm you're going gonna to do? Pick someone randomly, but then you have to make sure that they followed the rules. I know. I know. I know. Okay. okay. So what I'm How going are we to do? Make sure they followed her. I can just go look and search in oh. her follows. <laughs> I didn't know you could search. Cool. Cool. Yes. Cool. Okay. So, so you better follow what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to scroll the comments and you cool. tell me when to stop. Cool. Okay. Stop. Okay. The winner. The winner. Hold on. Let me make sure that you follow both of us. This is so exciting. You do follow both of us. <gasps> Kelsey Burris. Yeah. Kelsey. The, the robed dabber DGC. I don't know. Maybe you don't want me to say your whole thing. <laughs> Um, you won. You win. You won. I will be messaging you. You have one winner. The winner. Boobs. Chicken dinner. Okay, now we have to pick two more winners. What? Oh, for oh, we're not doing it as a whole thing. Yes, got it. Okay, okay. so that's winner number one. I should take. I should take a screenshot of you. So I yes, don't for you. sure. Okay, so there's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop. Oh, that's just our caption. <laughs> Stop. Think Mink Company. It's a company? I don't know. So exciting. You have won. Let's see. Do you follow both of us? You do. I don't I don't know who you are, but I'll be contacting you. You have won. Congratulations. <laughs> the cactus and the keychain. Okay. Last one. The keychain and the wristlet. Ready? Okay. Hold on. Let me start back up. Let me go. Okay. Give it a fair shot. Oh, my God. Stop. Fraud Shammy! Woo! Woo Cat! <laughs> you have won the... What's the last one did I wristlet say? Wristlet and the keychain. The wristlet and the keychain! I will be contacting all of you. You have won the giveaway. That's exciting! That's I've never exciting. done a giveaway before. That was really fun. Wow. What were we talking about before that? I didn't say anything, but I was going to say something. Okay, I'm sorry. You say that I have news. No, that was fun. Okay. Also... Corey was like, why did you do your hair if you were just going to wear sweats? And I was like, because. One or the other. Yes. And doing my hair makes me feel pretty. Mm. Wearing nice clothes makes me feel anxious. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain yeah. it. It's just the way it is. It's my clothing very... needs to be comfy, mm -hmm. but I want my hair to be cute. Yeah, it's very nerdy girl in yeah. a um, old 90s movie. Yes. Where it's like, she's a dork. Yeah. But like, really, she's hot as soon as she takes her glasses off. <laughs> it this hair was up and I just went, oh, and then it <laughs> fell cascade. And they're like, oh, my God, she's actually beautiful. The prom queen. She's here. Who knew? Mm. And all the boys are mean to her. But now they want to fuck. <laughs> was there more to that? Yeah. Well, okay. no, I just that wasn't it. But I do have a go back to our ghost stories. A little update. Oh, OK. My sister called me today. OK. She's like, I'm listening to your podcast. I'm like, awesome. I love that. <laughs> OK. She says. And I just had a crazy memory. It's going to be weird if you don't remember. So tell me if you do. I was like, cool. She's, first, she wanted an update on Noah and the Debbie situation. Mm -hmm. I couldn't give it to her because I haven't spoken to him. And I keep forgetting every time yeah. I do. But then she said, it literally reminded me when you were reading that story and you got to the point where the sister or the brother or the cousin or something said, they heard a, the cousin said, I heard a blood curdling scream. Yes. But when she said it, she said blood skirtling cream. <laughs> And we had a good laugh. <laughs> that sounds like Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she goes, do you remember? We used to live um, in an old house that we rented. And the upstairs was our bedroom. It was literally the attic. And also, so it was like one part of the attic that had like carpet. So it was like finished attic, but like still the attic. That was our room. And then the part beside it was like gross cobwebby attic. But it had a door. We're on the second floor. And remember, you could just remember remember you could just um open the door and there but you just like fell out 
It was so scary. Of the house? It was, yes. You could just like open the door and walk off wasn't into, there, the, into the creek because there was a creek behind. Wasn't there a place too in that part of the attic where like there was a strip you could walk, but there was no railing, but that's where the yes. stairs came up? Yes. Okay, okay. It I'm was so you. creepy because we used to walk on that and y- yeah. you could fall like down the stairs. Yes. Pretty hard. Not that we ever did, but we I was going to say, I don't times. know how you would fall down the stairs soft. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> I pretend like I'm dead. <laughs> um, but we always thought the upstairs was haunted. And I mm-hmm. guess Taylor said she remembers being in the bathtub. We were very young when we lived in this house. So I'm thinking like mm, between the ages of seven to we moved out when I was 14. Yeah. Okay. And she's in the bathtub. I'm upstairs. And she said she just hears me absolutely screaming like scared screaming and i run downstairs and the back of our door we had a full length mirror like pinned to the back yep she said that i was playing and i looked over and there was a girl covered in blood huddled (gasps) in the corner of the room oh my god why do i remember this yes i don't i don't that's what's so scary is she told me and i was like i have no she said i was screaming crying bawling could not be consoled and then it was just like terrifying i remember this story that i would that that girl was following me then Ooh. I told this story because this I do remember when I was in high school at my new house. I think I saw that same girl huddled uh, on my bed. Remember? Yes. I opened the door and, and I could you thought see, it was Taylor, right? Yes. But then when I looked on my bed, there was nobody sitting yeah. there. So I don't know who this being is or why she followed e. me, but I haven't seen her since. Thank God. Oh, God. I'm Now I'm talking about it. Please. <laughs> I don't want to see. I'm so scared. But yeah, I don't remember that story at all. So she was like, you got to. Like I can't rem- believe she goes. I was hoping that you would remember and like I do that remember I'm not that crazy. story now Good. that you told me because that she's like I'm gaslighting myself because now I'm like am I crazy? Did it even happen? I remember being told this story because yeah. I like I said I don't have a lot of memory, but when people say certain stories, like sometimes it does trigger things. Mm-hmm. Um, just like when you were reading the one story and it took me back to being in elementary school. Yeah. Oh. That's on the exclusive episode. <laughs> Sorry. So you, you got to go to Patreon to hear that one. Um, but that I can I can picture your attic now. Yeah. I can picture your bedroom because you had to walk through a different door. You'd yep. like get up to the top of the steps. Was the carpet like, why am I remembering Blue. the color orange? Um, I don't know. But the carpet was like a, a bluish, like a really like the color of your stairs. Was the walls orange? Probably. I don't remember I much don't about rem- the walls. All I know the is... The walls were like wooden. Yes. So it was probably I like an orange I see orange when I picture it up there. And you couldn't walk like the... up. It yes, was like it very was angled. S- yeah. So like the sides of it, yeah. you smack your head off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which, and we did a lot. Yeah. But yeah, wow. my closet was really creepy too. We would always think we see like shuffling in the closet. Like, eee, I know. This is not what this episode is for. I'm sorry, everyone. But we I are gave you go funny back times time. before the scary one. So for the funny time, I got to give you scary <laughs> before we're doing a sandwich. This is how it works. Have your dinner. <laughs> eat a fucking sandwich. <laughs> um, Mommy wants you to eat. <laughs> so you talking about your appearance. Uh-huh. Can I talk about my appearance? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about this, you guys, because I think I need to come clean. I hate my appearance. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's it's okay. The, it's all right. Here's here's the truth. I cut my hair in a full-blown panic attack. Yes. And because I cannot admit when I've made a mistake to myself uh-huh. and I try to reclaim it yep. as being like, this was intentional and if no, not, I... we're going to make it work. <laughs> I try to own that energy as much as I possibly can. but um. I am really, really struggling. Mm -hmm. I'm really struggling because I feel like I've done something now that I wish I could take back. Yeah. And I am here and I'm going with it. But like, um, I know it's funny to say Jerry Exotic and stuff, but like, I do have such an insecurity. Do people say that? Yeah. you Don't fucking say that. (laughs) No. Who's saying it? I I thought it was funny. Like the first time I heard it, I thought it was funny. And I was telling myself- I was telling myself like no because I think because we make fun of it we we've do. said before we make fun of it so that other people like we, I got ahead of yeah, you I'm ahead I did. of the, I'm ahead of the curve but you I, can't hurt me if I already did it I thought that I was ahead of it and yeah. turns out no it still hurts. it's got endurance yeah <laughs> it is outrunning <laughs> my my it's initial a real turtle in the hair situation <laughs> it, literal hair <laughs> um and also uh I know. 
I know that we have talked about like body positivity, body neutrality, but like I've gained weight. Yeah. And when you have to stare at yourself on camera. Yes for um, an extended period of time. And I can see the difference in my face and in my body, like from one month to another. It's really, really hard. Yeah. Um, And I don't know why I'm telling you. I think I just don't want to be fake about it anymore. Well, Well, not that I was fake about it. No, but, and I, we get so many messages from people who are like, you have a responsibility to, you know, and I get that, but we're also human beings. And like, I think it's okay to be vulnerable and to be yeah, real I, and to say like, this is something that is bothering me. I don't feel like we've said before, because I said the same thing when I was gaining mm-hmm. weight, when I was pregnant, it's just different because you feel like it's a different body uh-huh. and it's hard to get used to that different body. And th- that takes time. And I think that's okay mm-hmm. that you're not instantly in love with it. And, and the thing is, it's not so much that I don't like my naked body right because i look at myself and i'm like eh, whatever i still feel pretty neutral but it's just that my clothes aren't fitting and like that bothers me that's why i wear that's why Mm -hmm. i wear sweats and like i wanted to tell him like that's i feel comfortable in sweats because Mm -hmm. i don't feel like you can see every inch of my body or like i have to sit a certain way so that Mm -hmm. i feel comfortable or that i can't lean a certain way like you know what i mean i just see that's why it's so strange because i'm if you're listening and not watching i'm wearing like a halter top a halter crop top and like really loud pants i love the loud pants and my hair is down and curly which i don't normally do i normally try and hide as much as i can like when it's up yeah um it i don't know why i'm revealing all of the parts that i'm insecure about i think just like to try to claim them but i also just want to be transparent that like I was looking at my Instagram feed and there's a photo of me uh, that I had taken in the bathtub when I was having a really, really depressed evening. And I was like, I, I don't know why I like having those photos to look at. Yes. Because when I look at my Instagram feed now, there's that photo. And then the photo that I posted around Mother's Day where I'm like in my underwear outside with my kids. And I, I am genuinely like so full of self love. Yeah. Both of those were very real experiences. Yes. They were both opposite ends of the spectrum yeah and like even though i just posted that talking about how i love myself i do love myself but there are things that like i am not super confident in right now and it's really bothering me and i just want people to know that like again i haven't arrived yes i felt great one day doesn't mean i'm gonna feel great the next day i don't know why i'm feeling like telling you maybe someone needs to hear it i don't know i think it's important to be transparent about the fact that yeah it's not like you wake up one day and you're like i fucking love myself because i was I'm back to watching Love Island, uh-huh. UK. I'm sorry. I had to go fine. back. Season three is like my comfort season. That's fine. I really love it. But there are things that I missed the first time. And one thing that I fucking love that they say that I've started saying is I back myself, which yes. is like, I fucking love that saying. And when I think about when people are saying, Sierra, I love I like how you've been recently and watching the transformation. Yeah. It's like confidence. Yeah. But I think I just really back myself. Mm-hmm. Um. I've I'm not as confident as I make myself appear but I'm like I'm gonna back myself yeah. at the end of the day I got me because I don't need anybody else and I used to seek outside validation yep. however that is me on my strong days I do still have bad days and I think it's okay to show both ends because we try so hard on here to be role models and you know but we're real people at the end of the yeah. day and like we've said any journey isn't just a straight journey there's going to be ups there's going to be downs there's going to be steps backwards Mm -hmm. steps forward and like slides to the left slides to the right real real slow (laughs) real slow or smooth smooth. i'm sorry how many fucking weddings have i been to (laughs) no one of us should know this really well i know i'm sorry but yeah i think that's i think you know, we're probably going to get people who are like, what you said was damaging and like, sorry if it is. Yeah. But also, I think I it's important to I be real. I would hope real. not. But at the same time, it, it ha- we will get someone saying something regardless. They always do. Um, <laughs> but when you said that a lot of people look at us as role models or we try to be role models. No, they know. look at us. At, I, I right. really didn't ask to be one, to be honest. <laughs> like I, That was never my intention. But I think part of being a role model is admitting that you're not that, perfect. Yeah. That yeah. sometimes the the model is flawed. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes, yeah, you're not going to wake up one day as a quote unquote influencer, which again is a position we never thought we'd find ourselves oh. in. And all of a sudden be like, 
I'm I've achieved perfection. Yep. Got it. Nailed it. Here's the roadmap. Perfect map. all Do the this. time. <laughs> yeah, it's just not realistic. No. It's not going to happen for anybody. And all that that does for me, it, especially recently, is just put me to where I don't want to share anything. I want to be put yeah. in a complete box. And our whole thing was built on being vulnerable. And I'm like, I feel like I can't be myself to anybody now. Anybody yeah. except for you. Yeah. Because God knows they'll run with it and tell so and so and so and so. And then it's all going to be like, the whole thing was a sham. Yeah. She's not actually confident. She does hate the way she looks sometimes. And yeah. sometimes she wants to sit like this so that, you know, she doesn't because feel we, insecure about her the weight that she's gained or whatever it is yeah. like any amount of that or the fact that I still wear jeans in the summer because I don't want people to see my body hair even though yeah. I talk about it all the time I'm still very insecure yeah. about it I cannot help it anyway I don't know why I, I've been thinking about it for a while I'm like glad you said something because I was having a bit of a, a a bit of a revelation today where I, I it's when I get into moods like this because I've been in a real down yeah. slope a little bit i was gonna say the same thing yeah and when i get into moods like this my um borderline manic mind you know this about me is to just delete all social media and go fucking rogue off the off the yeah. map and just be like i'm done with it whatever and it never lasts too long because i always right. need like that serotonin again <laughs> from the but like scroll I baby scroll it, for that time it's good for me because if not i will start posting really I'll get kind of erratic on social media and mm -hmm. online. And so like I've obviously taken a little bit of a step back. Like people have been like, oh, you're not liking or interacting or posting. I'm like, I'm trying not to I'm trying not to be erratic and right or overstimulate yourself. Yeah. Um, but it's tough because now I can't, I physically can't delete yeah. those things or take a break from them because it's like our job to yeah. be present. And, and even if you guys were to tell us like, yeah, to I, take ca a break, I can't. It's. <laughs> Yeah, it's such a double-edged sword. Um, but yeah, I just felt like giving a little mental health update on us because I'm glad you did. truthfully, behind the scenes, it's been very, very, very tough. Yeah. <laughs> I've been having a really tough time. Um, my arms are covered in scabs because I can't stop picking. Um, I keep cutting. Like, I even cut more of my hair today. Mm -hmm. Like, it is... It is a problem yeah. that every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, there's a, there's an issue. Let's just take care of it. But like, yeah. I just keep making problems for myself. Yeah. And it's almost like I internally am struggling with things that I can't put a face to. Or so I just create some something on the outside yeah. to put a face to why I'm feeling so disheveled on the inside. Oh, interesting. I was going to say maybe it's also a bit of like I can't control what's going on in this mm -hmm. aspect, so I can control this. And so I don't I'll... know. Sometimes I just like am not even there. Yeah. But anyway, no, I understand that's what I do on social media. I just don't do it to my appearance, but I do it and then people will be like, "Hey, are you okay? Because we saw these six things you posted back to back and they're, it seems like a cry for help. I'm like, you know, one may think that probably. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, do you guys want to know what we're doing today? <laughs> it's nothing it's to do not going to be a bummer. I swear. No. <laughs> this is part of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this, consider that the lettuce. <laughs> um, now we're going to give you the meat, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Have our meat in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Someone suggested that we do tier ranking. I love this um, idea. On our Patreon, we had asked for uh, some suggestions because we have to do a little bit of pre-recording because both Sierra and I are going to be going out of town. Um, so we're going to be ranking 90s and early 2000s nostalgia. Yay! And I'm so excited. So pumped. Yeah. So pumped. So we're going to be rating things on a tier. I'm going to try to create the tier um list visual and put it between us <gasps> betwixt cool so the so i can point but no. i won't know what i pointed <laughs> i mean you can try <laughs> i don't know how accurate you'll be so there's um what do we decide five five five, five. like five stars yeah so the top one like top of the top best you can get is all that in a bag of chips mm -hmm. okay next one is that's, that's hot. hot next one is your mom. <laughs> your mom is like very neutral. It, yeah, very neutral. Yeah, your mom. Um, talk to the hand mm -hmm. is the second from the bottom, and the absolute bottom is eat my shorts. <laughs> so eat my ass. eat my shorts. <laughs> I'm gonna um, say ass on accident so much, that's but fine. but shorts is cool. If yeah. you don't understand these references, um, 
it's I don't know very, what to tell you. It's very 90s and we <laughs> yeah. apologize. I'm sorry. I know we got a, li- a lot of Gen Z listening <laughs> yeah. and they're like, what the fuck does Gen that X, have to do? Gen X, millennial. Yeah. This is for you. Millennial, yeah. you little, you little, what's it called? You little. What's a cusp? Cusp. Cusp. You cusp. cuspers. You, you cuspers. mother cuspers. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> this one's uh, for you. This, you'll probably recognize this, but. But you'll, if you're not, if you're a Gen Zer, you might still have fun. So stick yeah. around. Yeah. Hang out. And rank rank along with us. Tell yeah. us if you disagree with us. And if you do, this isn't your show. We don't care. I'll do, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I'll try to describe as much as I can if we say yeah. things so that you don't feel so long. Yeah. We'll try. Okay. He's just a little cuddlekins, this one is. Yeah, okay. Hair is out of control. <laughs> On our Instagram, I made a post today um, saying party like it's 1999, which I really think that the photo of you and I in that Instagram story might be from 1999. I think it is. I am wearing an NSYNC t-shirt. Yeah. And we're, we're at least, we're 10 or younger. Oh, for sure. We're both wearing windbreakers. Yeah. It is Easter. Yeah. Anyway, we're ranking nostalgia that you sent in. Okay. So. Here we go. First one. Furbies. Okay. Where would we put Furbies? I'd say that's hot. I was going to say that's hot. (laughs) That's hot. That's hot. I loved Furbies. Yeah, me too. A little bit creepy now that I'm older. Okay, do you know? But at the time, Furbies were fucking awesome and i was poor so i could well, never have them but i used to play with my friends furbies especially because like the technology yeah like, that was new well, because it was I like, like ai me down furbies i got like furbies <laughs> i think maybe my mom sorry mom if you're listening you probably bought me one but way after sierra it was like got, furbies were sierra got burbies <laughs> <laughs> was like burfies furbies were not a thing anymore it was like, off brand <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they were very much yum. <laughs> like, well, didn't cool. like they could learn. Yeah, and they would learn new words. They would like get to know you. So like that was kind of scary. Yeah, now that we look back on it. But yeah, very cool. Yeah, I did like them. Their eyes would blink, they, and yeah. they would like purr and shit. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they did purr. They did. Do you when know? you pet them? I don't know. You, Sometimes if you rub them, them a certain way. They would. <laughs> <laughs> quit it yes <laughs> they would be like i need i need to say this okay sorry there is something happening like now where people are taking furbies and doing weird shit with them oh. like making them into like full like the furby head with like full human body parts it's i not Why? like not human body parts <laughs> but it's like, like what the fuck like plastic i'll have to show you pictures like barbies it's, it, kind of, but like I, I don't know. It's horrific. It's absolutely <laughs> the horrific. Baby doll? They, yeah. Oh my for god. baby doll, <laughs> I got to look it up for you right now. Oh my god! If I find it, I'll put. I'll try and put the photo here. <laughs> I'm googling weird Furby art. <laughs> oh my god! If you're someone who creates vegan. this, I'm so sorry. And this also, is going. Why? This is going for two hundred and twenty-one dollars. It's an advanced long Furby. No. Look at it. What? It's, That's some human centipede shit. It is. Ew. <gasps> what the fuck? I'm telling you. Those are so <laughs> scary. I know. Look Why at this would one. anyone do that? It's a woodland creature. Fuck you. <laughs> <if> you <do laughs> it's got horns and fairy hair and flowers. That's so scary. That's the shit. That is literally <laughs> my fucking sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Yes. Oh, uh, that's scary. There's weirder ones. This one has teeth. What? Did it come up? The fuck? Oh, it's on a it's a sticker. But yeah, Excuse it's got me. teeth. It's like a Furby on one of those chatter mouths. Do you remember those chatter mouths? I hate that. I know. <laughs> that, 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 that thing. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> what? That's a Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. For Banger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. The fuck is that? <laughs> that is a furless Furby. No, its nipples are pierced <laughs> and it has tattoos. <laughs> it's tragic. If you just want something to terrify the fuck out of you, you just need to Google weird Furby that art. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> that is Nicki Minaj's Furby. No. Anyway, okay, okay. There's that. So we still rank them. That's hot. Mm, I'm more your mom. <laughs> I'm borderline I feel like, your mom. I feel like early 
2000s 90s Furby is that's hot sure whatever the fuck is happening with them today eat my shorts eat my (laughs) actual shorts for sure okay this one those plastic water filled toys that look like you were jerking off when you played with I them. Fucking <laughs> love I fucking love those. Dude, things. all that in a bag of fucking <laughs> chips. All that in a bag of chips. They had like the holes in them too. You could stick your finger in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would. <laughs> I did too. I'd be like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you'd get that at Claire's. <laughs> yes. You'd go to Claire's and you'd be going to check out and you'd be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> dude, I remember one time I got in trouble because we went on you'd a. You'd squish them and they'd just shoot out of your hand. I went. We went on a field trip trip and like to like a space museum for school okay and i bought one because you could buy shit at the gift store and this one was like blue and it had like space shit in in it stars no like space rockets and fucking shit okay and i was like yeah but i was doing it on the bus ride back (laughs) and the teacher was like hey stop that (laughs) i was like why i'm just fucking playing with it i'm just fucking and they're like (laughs) please stop what you're doing and i'm like i don't understand what's wrong so like, yeah, explain s- it to me <laughs> it's gonna slip out of your hands now that i'm older i'm like sure <laughs> <laughs> sure it <laughs> is the problem sure. is. so we agree all that in a bag of chips yeah the fucking best i feel the same way about the little jelly domes that were on like the plastic hard base they look like globes but they oh. were like jelly oh my god you just unlocked a fucking memory i, I think i talked I about that before but i really wanted boobs when i was little yep and I would stick those in my in there. <laughs> my shirt, and I'd just walk around. I'm like someday, and turns out now, <laughs> still, still waiting on that day. Um, my tits are so small now that I had to stop breastfeeding. Like small. Don't they? De- oh my god! I was looking at a pregnant photo of myself where my boobs were just like out and about, and I'm like, oh my god, they looked like that at one point yeah. in time. Like I'm pretty sure they've never been smaller. I'm like, how did they get? smaller (laughs) i knew they were gonna shrink back down but they're like smaller than pre-puberty but i don't understand it doesn't make sense but it's fine it is what it is farmville oh dude all that in a bag of chips you think dude i fucking fuck with Farmville. eat my shorts what eat my shorts you're the bitch that never fucking help me grow my crops or whatever the fuck ever reciprocated dude i was like people would be like help me with my corn and i'd be like get your own (laughs) no absolutely not fuck your corn yeah i loved farmville i actually am embarrassed that i was just looking up apps because they have like farmville 4.0 and i was like hell yeah oh my god no i was uh, um I was trying to date a country boy, uh-huh. and so I was like, "Country boy, I love you." <laughs> Ow. Um, <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I love Farmville. I'm so into crops. I'm so stuff. fucking love crops." Can I tell you something semi embarrassing? If you know me as a person, because this was not something that anyone would ever think that I would want, but it like came to me, and I want it so bad. I told Corey, if we ever get a dream house, like we want a house yeah. that is not around people, yes. right? And I was like, one thing that I really want. Can we have free range chickens? <laughs> you want free range chicken chickens and fresh eggs every morning so bad. I and then I was like, I want to grow like my own vegetables. I was like, maybe have a goat or two. I'm like all about the fucking farm life. <laughs> I don't want a crazy farm. I just want like you want a hobby farm. I want a hobby farm. I don't want a yeah. farm that I don't want to hurt the animals ever. But I want them to like just be on my fucking farm. <laughs> I don't know why that's like a weird dream that I have. Yeah, I would not picture you as a farm girl. Like barn cats and then barn my freaking cats. dogs would come out and they'd round up my goats or something. <laughs> Mosby would be the best my working chickens. dog. Oh, Your my dogs God. would be shit for work dogs. No, my dogs would eat my chickens. So they, we have to really <laughs> yeah. wait until probably my dogs die. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't want them yeah. to ever die. I'm but not rushing it. No. But I am getting a goat but just as that happens. <laughs> They're, my, they're gonna play with the goats <laughs> oh my god okay those oh my god oh my god i already know where i'm putting this one those origami future predictors with the numbers colors and yes no maybe try again a hundred per- the, the highest that you could go the highest you can go <laughs> that is all that in, in a, a bag, bag of chips, chips. Yes. i'm telling you i used to make those all the time you, i was gonna catchers, say you right? literally did it all the time i'm like come here let me tell you fucking future and i'm yep. like tink 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 Oh, you're going to marry uh, this guy. And then you're going to fucking 
I would memorize huh, this I, would, I would memorize it because I would make it with like boys in our class. Yes. And then I'd be like, all right, who are you going to date? And then I'd have you do it. I'm like, all right, my turn. And yep. I would like memorize, memorize what number they were under, <laughs> what I needed to do. Yep. Like I would count the amount because it would be like purple and you'd have to be like P-U-R-P-L-E. Yeah. And I would memorize which one was going to get me to the number to pick. <laughs> So I'd be like, like, oh, it's in the stars. Turns out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, dude. That was, I love to make, I would look over, like, while I'm trying to be present in class and Jerry's just making these (laughs) fucking origami things, like, so many of them. And they all were kind of the same. How did no one know that I had ADHD? (laughs) (laughs) I know. Oh, my God. Those were fun. Let's make one of those Okay, we're done with, because I want to see who I'll marry. All right. Don't memorize it, though. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Fucking, it's fine. Wow. Fucking right. cool. <laughs> MSN Messenger. I don't know if I used that. MSN BC. Oh, I'm going to say your mom. <laughs> yeah, your mom. Definitely your mom. It's in the middle for me because I don't know that everyone used it. Mm-hmm. I definitely didn't. We used... Okay, so what were all the messengers? AOL. There was AOL, AIM. um, ICQ, yep. and Fucking MSN. Fucking fucked with ICQ oh, and AOL ICQ. constantly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, and then on AOL, you could talk to Smarter Child. Do you yes. remember Smarter Child? Yeah. I had a full fucking conversation. Is it Smart with Child or Smarter Child? I thought it was Smarter Child. Oh. There was like a robot that yeah. you could talk to. And I would be like, how's your day, Smarter Child? And oh my God, like, I used to do that to Ask Jeeves. Dude, and then I now that I think about it, I Where think are I you got ranking kind, Smarter Child? I think I got kind of weird with Smarter Child. I think I tried to flirt with Smarter <laughs> Child. <laughs> Because I was like, maybe Smarter Child will fucking get... And it was like, <laughs> oh, you got rejected by Smarter Child? By a fucking robot, dude. Wow. <laughs> I know, sad as fuck. So I'm going to give him... A, I'm going to give him a... Uh, Eat my shorts. No, I'll say number two because I still have a little love in my you heart. You have to call it what it is. I know, I can't remember. That's why I was trying to it's, think. Number two is... Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand, Smarter Child. Because <laughs> yeah. the face ain't listening anymore. <laughs> Whatever suck it. <laughs> whatever suck it. <laughs> you remember whatever suck it? Dude, that was what W turned into suck it. Suck it. <laughs> yeah. I got in trouble for doing that all the time. Of course, because we can't ever have any fun. <laughs> God damn. Um, okay. Wait, did we rank it? Are you agreeing with your mom? Yeah. For MSN? Yes. Okay. I think I remember But AOL and ICQ are fucking boom, baby. I did not have an email yet. or AOL or AIM or MSN Messenger, but Mario Kart Erica did. Mm-hmm. And so I would always go over to her house and, and message my boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> who went to a different school and we only saw each other on Sundays. I had a, I had a stepsister. Well, I still do, but like, whatever. <laughs> but she would come over and she was way older than we were. Not way older. Mm-hmm. I would say like I was like 10 and she was like 16. And I would just sit there. This is so annoying now that I. Like I would sit there and just watch her message people and like yeah. read everything. Why was that so fun? Because I loved same. it. I loved it. And now that I'm like, I, I want to be like, sorry, I was so fucking annoying to you that I just sat and like, but I would like hardcore sit there and she was having full on online romances. And I was like, I'm loving this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like better than TV. Chat rooms are wild. She was always like 18, she pretended to be or whatever, because I think she was like 16. And I was like, oh, this is dangerous, but this is fun. (laughs) Callie, what, 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 ASL, age, sex, location. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous. I'd always be like 16, female from California. (laughs) (laughs) A server. You're a server? I was a server. (laughs) How sad. I'm a waitress. (laughs) It was my dream. There's nothing wrong with being a server. No, absolutely. It's no, but- just my, my reality. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it would be funny, like, as a, what were you, like, 10? Yeah. To be like, someday I'm going to grow up. <laughs> I did want to be a waitress at one point. I was like, yeah. I would love to be, like, a server. That sounds like a fun job. How fun to, like, get to talk to people all day. And then mm-hmm. I realized that talking to people is the fucking awfulest, <laughs> yeah. awful, most terrible shit that anyone's ever done. 100%. Um, Did that make sense? Who yeah. cares if it didn't? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Polly Pockets. Fuck yeah. Dude, I did shove some shit up my nose one time on you a Polly did? Pocket. You did? On yeah. a Polly Pocket? No, no. Uh, not from a Polly from Pocket? From a Polly Pocket. <laughs> I was on Polly Pockets one time and I shoved shit up my nose. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I also think I had the generic version of Polly Pocket, whatever that is. <laughs> like, I didn't mm. actually have a Polly Pocket. But Debbie Denham? 
probably. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a tree house. Mm. Oh my god! It was so, everything was so small. And Sally her little sleeve. jean jacket I could put on her, fucking dress her in the tiniest little clothes. Yeah. But yeah, one time I did shove something on my just to see if it would go up there. It was like a piece of clothing, or I'd crunch on their heels. I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like that texture. I don't think I played with Polly Pockets. Oh, Polly Pockets were fun. I had all of her friends. They the tree house. You open it up and it had like a slide that went down. Okay. It was really Why fun. do I feel like I had a seashell? I like think a you compact. Did. You definitely did because it had like a, you could sit by the pool yes. and we would play all of our things. Yes. And then Apparently could, I did have yes. Polly Pockets. <laughs> yes, you did because you just unlocked that memory for me of the fucking mermaid pocket. Someone is working overtime in my head right now just like going through the files and being <laughs> like, on. show the one picture. <laughs> yes. See if anything clicks. Wow. Okay. Okay. So where are we putting Polly? I would say, um, fuck, I got to re- keep your mom or that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's okay. hot. I, I'll, I'll go with it. Um, fuck. This one hits hard. The screensavers pipes was a literal maze. Okay. So you remember like <gasps> the, they'd be like the pipes or they'd like bounce off of yeah. it or Dude, that the brick fuck one with me because I was always like, touch that corner, touch that corner. It would never touch the corner. I'm like, fuck, I come know. on. I knew that it was never going to touch the corner, but I wanted it to. So goddamn. That would have been so satisfying. So satisfying. Oh my God. Um, I feel like your mom, your mom. Yeah. I'm a different, it's cool, but they would piss me off sometimes. Yeah. Agree. Lisa Frank school supplies. All that in a bag of chips. It was, but it was so fucking expensive and I was never allowed to get them. I could again. I think generic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was the generic I think I was stuff. allowed to get like one folder. Me too. Oh, and that was my special folder. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> special folder for a special girl. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I loved that. Do shit. you want me now, smarter child? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the fact that I flirted with a fucking robot is the yeah. most embarrassing thing. Remember when we played that game and it's like, say an embarrassing fact. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You definitely should keep that. I'm going to. That's a great embarrassing fact. Now the world knows. God damn it. <laughs> um, Citrusy? Oh, it's citrusy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm didn't. Sorry, I was reading my can and it says citrusy, but I was like, citrusy? <laughs> What's a citrusy? Oh, my God. She that's got funny. that good citrusy. It tastes like orange. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> the Amanda Show. Um, I would say that's hot. I would say that's hot. Yeah, there was a couple segments on that the Amanda show. That, yes, that they drove me, me nuts. The dancing the, the Maha girl. Oh, the Maha girl. I fucking could not stand that. No, I, I hate that. And only a little bit of like, I'm gonna beat you in the head with a little fish. <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I <laughs> forgot about that. I'm gonna beat you in the head with a. <laughs> Water bowl. Yep. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Water bowl. <laughs> oh, we did that. It was water always, bowl. I was like, come on. We got to get better freaking. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. But I like the dancing lobsters. I like the girls room. Girls room was hilarious. There were some segments on there that were very witty and funny for like yeah. that time. So, uh-huh. but some of it was just like really who was, dumb humor. Who was her alter ego person? Oh yeah. That always tried to get. Miranda, please. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't I didn't like her either. Yeah, me neither. But I do I love Amanda Bynes. Yeah. I mean, I will I wish her the best. I think she just posted a photo of her ass on Twitter. So did Aaron Carter recently. Have he you did? seen it? Oh, I got a bit. I got do it. Do you know that a friend of mine helped him pick out pants at a thrift store? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like in Arizona or Colorado. Well, that's something. <laughs> I know. Do you know that I've seen Aaron Carter in concert twice? Um, no, but that makes that tracks <laughs> <laughs> once with you. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, I feel like I've seen him once. So yes. Yeah. Once we went together to the all that. Yes. Um, concert. Yes. And then I saw him again. He opened up for a band called Lydia uh, in Akron. Shane and I went and saw. Oh, so like recent. Wow. How, yeah. how was he? Good. So good. I mean, well. He's better. He was better than he is I'm, now. I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm concerned about him now as well. But when I saw him, he had just put out a new album. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Look how dirty his feet are. <laughs> Do you think that's real? He posted it. Okay. Someone posted it on a thing saying, like, is Aaron Carter okay? <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> so, anyways. 
Uh, I wish them all the best. Yeah, for because sure. the thing is, we can sit there and be like, "Wow, they're a mess," but like, oh, that no, is no, no, such no. a fucking they. You lost your whole childhood, so like, yep. how are you supposed to act when mm-hmm. you've had a child? And like, I feel like I've said this to you a million times, but like, what you and I are going through right now is something that we can only talk to each other about, especially in the town that we live in. Like, mm-hmm. we talk about it, and people are like, mm, "Okay," and I'm yeah. like, "No, it's actually like a lot of people know who we are." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, like even our partners don't fully understand they don't the get extent it. of it. So like, b- imagine that, but you're a child. Yeah. And, and you, like on a much larger scale, huge, huge scale. And people mm-hmm. are commenting on your weight, your appearance constantly. Like you're not a real person. Yes. Yeah. No, I definitely feel terrible and wish them the best. But yeah. yeah. Anyway. Kay. Okay. Moving on. Where Did we put that somewhere? Your mom? Yeah. Or is that hot? No, but I'll do your mom. Okay. <laughs> maybe that's hot. I don't know. I won't <laughs> do your mom. <laughs> Doing my mom is definitely not hot. <laughs> okay. Should we check? Sorry, that? mom. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my aunt. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Th- that wasn't about like a you thing. It's no, just it's, a, it's, it's not an you. It's me. <laughs> I would like to say also that the photo that I showed you of Aaron Carter's ass, the ass is blocked out. You can't see it. It's blacked out. Um, so I w- I would just say because there have been recently unconsensual nude photos of celebrities and i will never condone that so like that was not a photo that i didn't just show her or i don't have it on my phone it was something that he posted himself but the one that i have is completely blacked out you can just see the way that he's like posing and stuff i felt like that was important to say because i don't condone sharing or looking at um, nudes that are on the internet that are unconsensual. Again, no matter who they're, I don't yeah. give a shit how like a public figure if they were doing it their on their own. Their figure isn't the public's. Right, right. And even if they were doing it like in a play or something, yeah. they didn't oh, consent yeah. to that being on the internet. They consented yeah. to doing it in a way that it was done and so that's all I'm going to say about that. Ugh. I didn't Google that as as much as I wanted to. As no, me neither. <laughs> as somebody whose nudes have been on the internet, I was like, I can't, I yeah. can't do it, and I won't. This is such um, the juxtaposition of what we were just discussing, and oh. the next thing I'm going to say, <laughs> Elephant. Oh, do you remember Elephant? Do I ever? <laughs> if you guys have never played Elephant, first of all, what the fuck are you doing? Turn us off. Go, go find it. I remember we played it when we were younger, and then my dad. When I was 11, he had my half sister. And so when she then was like two, me and my sister were like 15, 14, 15, and like 12, 13. Mm-hmm. And we would be like, Do you want to play Elephant with our little sister all the time? Because we were like, I, I play love that. that game. That was the one. Okay. So it was an elephant and it whirred around, right? It it's had got a, a fan, fan inside. In it. So. It, then it sh- it's got a big trunk that's <laughs> shooting up because the fan is keeping it up. Uh-huh. When you shut the fan off, it was like, well, sad trunk. <laughs> yeah. And then it would shoot out butterflies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you had to catch them in nets. Yes. Oh, so fun. I was so competitive at that game. I was babysitting as a full grown adult. <laughs> and I was like, you guys want to play? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to play with I me? I am not going easy on any of you. Speaking of, I don't and know we'll if this is win. one, but um, do you remember the jewelry game? Pretty Pretty Princess. Yeah. Of course I do. 100%. I pretty, pretty princess. I want to find it and like, Play I think, it. okay. Do you remember playing it at my house all the time? Yes. I Rachel loved it. Rachel is getting married in July. Yes. And for her bachelorette, I think we're doing a 90s themed <gasps> bachelorette and I think we're going to play Pretty Pretty Princess. That's so fun. I know. I um, want a 90s themed, I actually want an early 2000s themed. Okay. Bachelorette party. Okay. So clock that. <laughs> okay. I okay. All right. Okay. Noted. Um, where are we ranking? Let's rank both of those. Elephant and Pretty Pretty Princess. All that in a bag of chips, baby. Yeah, Couldn't I agree. Be better. Could All not be that better. in a bag of chips. Do you remember the one game that I had that was a chicken just spread eagle that we had to <laughs> limbo under? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and it would like stick. <laughs> yes. If you like, hit it, it would crush. <laughs> but like if you touched it on its it would be like <laughs> yes yeah so weird and the chicken was so fucking heavy yeah. as well and so if it fell on you it fucking hurt, it hurt. <laughs> yeah <laughs> feel good yeah look if you don't know what this game is i don't remember what it was called 
but like the legs were so long and they yeah. were poles and then the feet <laughs> were like the edge of it. <laughs> yeah. And so this chicken, you would just go underneath this spread eagle chicken. So weird. Would it be a spread chicken? Spread spread eagle feels weird to say about a different bird. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I would also put that chicken and all that in the bag. Oh, okay. Of chips. I was like, where are we putting the chicken? In the deep fryer. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I had fried chicken tonight for dinner. Mm. Land before time. Ah. Uh, I would say that's hot. I'm gonna give it your mom. Really? Yeah. I controversial. I wasn't, I wasn't that into it. Okay. Because it was sad. It was, I was sad. a sad kid. It was sad. I didn't need it to be more sad. Do you feel like, cool. like it was overhyped? Spoiler, the icon- your mom died. Now your grandparents are fucking dying. Like, I can't You know the saddest this. part about that movie. What? Spo- <gasps> Ducky? Ducky. Yeah. 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 If you don't know about Ducky, I don't feel like now's the time for us to talk about it. <laughs> no, but. Just know it's sad. It's very, very, very sad. Don't Google sad. it. Uh, bump it's. We've talked about bumpets before. A listener actually sent us some. Yes. So thank you. I've used it, not on the podcast, but I have tried it. You have? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't hit the same. No. <laughs> it's the same. I would not. I would think not. But I am happy that I tried it. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to say uh, talk to the hand. I'm going to say talk to the hand. Yeah. Was it my favorite? I was, again, not the something time, I could. The time, yes, but. Yeah. No. Longevity didn't have it. No. I don't need volume that bad. Yeah. NSYNC, specifically Justin Timberlake and those frosted tips. Mm. Okay. (laughs) I love NSYNC with every fiber of my being. Whenever Justin Timberlake got the Icon Award and they all got back together and performed. Oh, my God. When I tell you I was losing my goddamn mind. Oh, my God. I I could not handle it. Did that happen recently? Yes. Yeah, I think I cried. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was within the last like five years yeah. or so, or maybe I remember. Fuck, I, gotta, I don't like, remember. Can we Google that? I was living. Yeah, I was living with my parents. I remember crying. So it's got to be longer than five years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because I've been married six this year. Oh, so. congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I love NSYNC. I but if we're ranking them as I knew them in the '90s and 2000s. I would say all that in a bag of chips. Sure. But as I know them now. Can I say something a little controversial? Yeah. I think JC carried that band and they did him dirty. They, they did, did do him JC dirty. Fucking dirty. Yeah. They gave Justin everything. And mm-hmm. I, JC, they were just like, fuck you. And if you listen vocally, JC carried that shit. He did. Carried it. Yeah. I'm so upset that they chose to take Justin on his solo tour and kind of give the middle finger but, to jc also jc's a really good songwriter he writes a lot of songs even now do you think for that, artists do you think that jc wanted to be this yeah remember solo? he he had i bought his album he had a solo like it i bought it and i was like i don't it okay. still slaps a little bit to this day. you know the problem though is that tara he, reed was in one of his music videos and it was a huge fucking thing now when you go back and watch the music video it's so fucking cringy i will show it to you because i just rewatched it not that long ago but there's so much jean jackets and jeans all oh, just, just all the, the jeans. denim on denim <laughs> just so much denim 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 <laughs> it's um, a lot but again vocally he is phenomenal you think he's superior I think I think he carried the band. I will say that. Okay, I, I don't disagree with that, but I will say that I think that his age, because he was one of the older ones. Was he? I don't think he was the oldest. Yeah. But he was one of the older ones. And I just don't think he had the same appeal look, as Justin. Look. Yes. I don't want to say that, but I think that's what they did. Uh-huh. I think that's what they looked at. And it yeah. pisses me off because, again... The man could sing, man. He could fucking sing. He could have continued to do music, and maybe he is. But well, he's, he's seen, a songwriter. I've he, seen him on America's Best Dance Crew. Wasn't he on The Mass Singer as well? No. No. Joey was. Joey. Yes. Yes. Jo- I keep waiting for JC to be on there. I know. Do you know his real name's Josh? Joshua? Joshua Chazez. Chazé? Chazé? Chazé. I don't know. It makes me like him a little less. <laughs> but it's JC Chazé. So yeah. what's the other C? I don't know. Chazé Chazé? <laughs> Chaz's Chazé. 
<laughs> Let us know, JC. Are you listening? I hope so. We're team you. I am. Sorry, Justin. Did we put I've them also, somewhere? I used to love, I used to stand Justin so fucking hard. And then I have heard some I'm not just trying so- to drink this candle. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I've heard some not so good things about Justin and it makes mm-hmm. me really not like him. Really, really not like him. Oh my God. Just got beer that upsets boob. me because we were rooting for you. We were all rooting See, for you. Um, but n- nor neither Justin nor JC were either of our picks from Mm-mm. NSYNC. No, and now going back, I wish I could have changed mine. I picked Chris because okay, I was going to have them guess. Oh, I was going to have you guys guess which one you thought was. We've mine already and which talked about it. Okay, that doesn't mean they remember or paid attention <laughs> or like. Listen to that. Well, you can guess Jerry's, but I'm going to tell you right now what mine was because was me. <laughs> <laughs> because I got bullied into choosing Chris because I got la- last pick really? and everybody else picked and then I had to be But if I'm honest, I would have probably chosen Joey. I'm not going to lie. I think Joey got the Yeah. <sighs> Joey got the shaft. And I could <laughs> use <laughs> that shaft. I could use it. <laughs> Joey could give me that shaft. Because you know what? Joey's a fucking funny guy. He is and funny. I love a funny guy. If there's anything about funny. me, I love a funny guy. And Jerry loves a gay man. I do. <laughs> More than anything in the world. Did you I see do. Elise Myers? Um, she made a TikTok recently and she was like, my first celebrity crush was Lance Bass. My second celebrity crush was Clay Aiken. My first high school boyfriend ended up being a gay man. <laughs> I did it to myself or something like that. And then Lance Bass freaking <gasps> stitched it. And she was like, she said she re like stitched it. It was just like this the whole time. <laughs> because he, see, he said like that tracks. <laughs> That's what I said. When I tell you, I would simply pass away. I know. If Lance Bass. Yeah. I was convinced one time we went, I went to his concert. Uh, no, I mean, they were, the rest of the band was there as well. But <laughs> no, I was, was just, Lance. just fucking focused on Lance. And I, well, everything got quiet. He was talking all by himself. They were just like setting up for another song. And he was talking all by himself. And I screamed, Lance, I love you. <laughs> and I swear he looked up at me and said that he loved me too. Oh my God. And I think about it all the time. And I, I gaslight myself. And I'm like, he wasn't looking at you. He doesn't know you exist. <laughs> but in that moment, I swear to God, he proposed <laughs> to like nine-year-old me. And I was like, yes, I will. I will. <laughs> so Lance, if you're out there. <laughs> and not gay, which he is. <laughs> which you are. And you have a beautiful and in a family. relationship, yeah. yeah I cried a- at your wedding. I cried at your... The video that mm. of them having babies. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I'm unwell. Blow up furniture, bro. All that in a bag of chips. All that in a bag. Did of we chi- rank and say? I would say we said all that in a bag of chips for the time. For the time. For the yeah. time. Um, I would say that's hot. Only because when you went to get off of it, if you were wearing shorts, it was like reach, reach, reach. There's nothing I love more. Peeling your skin off furniture that sounds like I'm farting (laughs) the whole time I'm on it. Well, my my blow up furniture was not maybe this was another thing that I was too poor to have, and that's why I'm upset. Do you remember my blow up couch? It was like velvet. (gasps) It was navy, and it had it was like velvet feeling, but it was blow up. So God, it was money sounds so nice. I don't. What was that like? I don't know. Blow I mean, up fine. couch. I was like, mm, cool. I slept in an attic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was fun. Yeah, I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, the girl in the corner enjoyed herself. She was having fun. <laughs> oh, so you, so you're saying that's hot just because you're jealous? I was jealous. <laughs> I didn't actually own any of it, and my skin would stick to it yeah. pretty often. Oh, I think it's so fucking dope. Still, I love it's it. It's Pretty cool. Um. Okay, then I'll give it. It is aesthetically pleasing. I'll give it yeah. that. Okay, we'll give I'll that. give it. I'll go. That's hot with you then. Okay. okay. Doodle bear. <gasps> Fucking doodle bear. Oh. I forgot about doodle bears. Dude, doodle bear is what made me want to get tattoos. Doodle, like, bear. doodle bear is hot, and I'm fucking coloring all over that bitch. See, I couldn't color on my doodle bear because I had commitment issues. <laughs> <laughs> I was, well, if that doesn't like tell me, I was like fucking marking her up. <laughs> yeah. Up. Yours is a girl. Yes. I had the pink one. Pink oh. or purple. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I was like, Mr. don't get Mr. Doodle Bear. <laughs> it's like, don't give me Mr. Doodle Bear because I don't know. I I have commit. You know, just he's fine as is. Okay, you could, and you could wash them off, but I never did. No, because when you did wash them, it still like you had the still fadedness see. of it. So yeah. it's like fucking false advertising. So for that reason only, yeah. Talk to the hand, Doodle Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's hot, Doodle Bear. <laughs> And so were you. I think this is supposed to say jelly chokers, but it says jelly chokers. Mm. Um, I never had jelly. I never wore chokers. I loved until a choker. I was emo and like um, in high school. I loved a choker. Yeah, not in school, but like I did have I sensory it to be issues so tight that it cut into my neck. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's serious <Sierra's> kink. <laughs> Honestly, um, where would you rate this? In elementary school, talk to the hand. But yeah. as an adult, that's hot. <laughs> and I stick by that. <laughs> the square scooters in gym class. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude. I loved them. Everyone hates them. Well, I Because did they'd it. run over your fingers? Yeah, and I definitely, when you stand up, someone like... I busted my shin a couple times because yeah. people would run theirs into my fucking ankles and shit. Yeah. But I'm going to say that's hot again. I'm going to say that's hot as well. We're going to yeah. have a lot and that's hot. That's why I like that. Mm-hmm. Tamagotchis and trying to keep them alive. Oh my god! I don't think I did well with Tamagotchis. My object permanence. As soon as that, that Tamagotchi was, was nowhere near me anymore, it didn't exist. But my hyper focusing, like when I was mm-hmm. on it, I was fucking doing everything mm-hmm. for that. You hungry? You pooped? Let me get it. No big Take deal. Take you on a walk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like so much. Everything's fine. Yeah, but I need something that I ha- it, I need. It needs me consistently so that I. Yeah, because as soon kids, as it yeah, went to. <laughs> As soon as it went to sleep, I was, I was like, like, all right. Bored. Yeah. Bored with you, and I, I forget you're alive. <laughs> and I find it, and there's just like 10 piles of shit. And it's dead in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, great. No. Fucking great. So let me just turn this in the back and reset. <gasps> <gasps> you're alive. <laughs> it's alive. I'm a, an amazing mother. <laughs> um, Let's see. Where would you put that? I'll say your mom. No, I'm saying that's hot. No, I was going to go your mom. I'll go your mom. I'm saying that's hot. I really did like Boy, it. Let's agree. Okay, I'm saying your mom. <laughs> okay, it's your so mom easy is. to change my mind, honestly. Uh, Mary Kate and Ashley clothing line. No, I okay. was poor again. I don't think I got anything from the Mary Kate and Ashley clothing line, but I did like all their movies. I loved all their movies, mm-hmm. yeah. All of them. I would say that's hot. I would say clothing line, your mom. Oh, I was just talking Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> again, people that I hope are doing okay. Yes. Because such a young like they just really i cannot fathom i hope that they all of those child stars had like extensive therapy yeah because how are you gonna that's so Mm -hmm. much to put on a young kid i i as somebody who has young children i cannot imagine Mm -mm. noah has wanted he's like i want to do youtube blah 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 and he probably could do very well he's very entertaining but i've and that's like his dream. And I see all these. Yeah. And he's always like, look, children on YouTube living the best life. Yep. And those kids bought their parents a fucking house because. Yeah. They have, but like, I cannot imagine. I know the the comments we've gotten. Mm-hmm. And if my child got comments like that. If I got comments like that as a child. Yeah. Fucking devastating. No, ma'am. Like, I, I hear what people say. And I'm like, I hear you. And I don't give a fuck yeah. you know what i mean but like if you said it about my kid and i saw it or if he saw it on accident mm-hmm. oh no i talked shit about someone one time on my zanga page mm. and my mom found out about it and i was never allowed to have social media again oh and i'm God. so grateful yeah because i didn't realize that like the shit that i was saying as justified as I thought that I was, yeah, would like Have negatively affect someone yeah. and then stick with me. Yeah. No matter how much I distance myself from that, Being a that version person. of me wrote it. Yeah. And it's there for people to look at and judge and assign to me later on. Yeah. So I'm really thankful that one, we grew up in a time that there wasn't a ton of social media. Right. Um, but also that I was not allowed to have it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how we're going to handle that when mm. our kids are older. But Well, Noah is. And he's just he's begged me for almost every kid in his class has a phone or some form of social media. Yeah. And I absolutely refuse. I, I yeah. won't do it just because I 
you can't monitor everything. You can't be with your child 24 seven. And even you could put all the locks and everything on. I don't want him on TikTok by himself. I don't want him on YouTube by himself. I don't want him on anything. But like, yeah, I just won't do it because Mm -hmm. it's hard to monitor. And like, I don't know what other people are saying to him or what he's saying to other people. And I know that he's a young, impressionable kid. So I'd like to get ahead of that before it's just out there in the world. Because, Mm -hmm. yeah, kids make mistakes and I don't want that mistake to follow him. Yeah. Sit and spin. (laughs) <laughs> hell yeah the toy hell yeah <laughs> well okay break from the game what does that mean sexually sit on it and spin around spin around yeah you've never spun on it what do you mean spin like in a circle well not like continuous you're not <laughs> helicoptering but just like you sit and you are facing for a little bit okay doing your do your little dancey dance okay and then you're like oh you want to see a trick you turn around for it, but you don't get off. Oh, oh, I thought you were just like married around. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that seems like a lot. I mean, lot. maybe some people, that's not the version that I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, like, I've never I, done that. Do I just Mom? pull my legs into the air and he spins me like a top? That like, actually sounds so fun. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to need a lot of lubrication. Yeah. Okay, back to the child's toy. <laughs> so fun. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, all that, that in a bag of chips. All that in a bag of chips. Fucking so fun. I, I used to make myself my kids. sick. I was we like, have <laughs> we have one upstairs. I bought one for my kids for Christmas and I was the first to use it. Yes. I was like, I can you never, hold this, baby? I would never use it appropriately where you have to spin the top. I'd get on it and make my sister just push me as fast as she can. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, fucking push me. Uh, Xenon. Oh, uh, me and just Corey. Me and just Corey. <laughs> me and Corey. <laughs> Just watched it the other you day. Did? Real protozoa. Real, real cringy, honestly, if I'm being honest. All of those as adults to watch, I'm like, this is cringe as fuck. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, it's boom, boom, boom. Because the children though it's zoom zoom zoom. Zoom zoom zoom. Because the children actors are so fucking funny. Like at the time I'm like, they are amazing. I love yeah. this. I'm so into the story. But like watching them try to act as an adult, I'm like <laughs> just really funny but yeah. there's like a scene where they're all like out to eat and she's it's like focusing on her talking to whatever and you can just see the other actors who are in frame just not paying attention just like staring at them not trying to act at all really like, <laughs> yeah. shit now i want to watch it it's really funny that is funny i i think i've told this story before but when i was in class like in elementary school i how no one fucking picked up on my neurodivergence, I don't know. <laughs> because, because no one knew what it was back then. I was sitting in class they were pretending just like, She's to quirky. She's pretending different. to talk to Xenon. Oh, sure. I would put erasers in my ear. Oh, I remember. And I would put my finger on it and I would like talk to her. Yeah. And then I had totally to go to the nebular. I had to go to the doctor to get it removed. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Um. So I would put xenon and all that in a bag of chips. All of them. Also, if you watch it, because it's supposed to be this was, in the what, future. was also yeah, it's supposed to be in the future, way in the future. So they have like futuristic things that like back in the nineties were like, oh yeah, totally that would happen. But it's just funny now watching. Do it they say what year it is in the future? I I don't know, but I. It's got to be, I think it's around this time. It's just mm. funny. But they're trying to use different slang. Yeah. So they had to make up their own slang for the movie so that it would seem like futuristic. And not even Xenon's thing, but like the guys. So he's explaining the slang and he's like, macro is whatever. And Protozoa? No, this is the, the boy crush. The, the guy. Oh. That, he's the cringiest character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you rewatch it. But he's like, viral is beautiful or something. Weird. No, eat my shorts. Eat my shorts. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> eat my shorts. Oh God, macro might be beautiful. Viral's bad. Mm. She's like, ew, that's so viral. Calling someone after nine p.m. because it was free. Don't text me. Uh, don't call me. I don't have any minutes. Yes. Wait until nine. Yes. Yeah. And then my mom is like, "Why are you tired?" And I'm like, "Cause I've been up since till four a.m. Because this was when I had free minutes, of mom." <laughs> yes. Yeah. I remember talking to my boyfriend after nine, and I would be under my blanket yes. talking because I wasn't supposed to be on my phone. Oh yeah. Oh. What do you rate it? I rate it 
Um, I talked to the hand. Yeah, talk to the hand. That sucks. It did suck. I would like to talk to you during the day. Although I am a night owl, so I'm going to go your mom. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) But no, because then I had to wake up really early because I was still fucking in school. So now talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Zebra stripes. Like zebra stripe gum? Oh. That gum was delicious gum for slapped. seven for seconds. <laughs> exactly. Seven seconds. The fruity striped gum. Yeah, with the tattoos. Oh, it was so good. Okay. And then it immediately lost flavor. For the first seven seconds, all that in a bag of chips. For yeah. the rest of the time it was in your mouth, eat my shorts. Eat my fucking <laughs> shorts. Tasted like wet cardboard. <laughs> yep. Okay, people talk about pogs. Pogs is on what here. What the fuck is a pog? I don't know. Were we not old enough? For that? I, I, like, don't I don't know. know what pog is. If you guys know what pogs are, tell us. Not a pug. <laughs> pog. I, we never played with pogs. Mm-mm. So um, eat my shorts, I guess. Eat my shorts. <laughs> moon boots. I don't know what that is either. Okay. I don't think I ever played with moon I, boots. They would basically almost break your ankles if you use them incorrectly. I think Mario Kart Erica had some. Yeah. They were like um tr- mini trampolines for your feet that's so, so scary why they, would they give those they to were children? like platforms that were like six inches <gasps> bounced and then you strapped your foot oh, actually, into the top so fun. they were dope honestly oh. that's hot god damn i wish i wasn't like this is rich people's shit <laughs> i had so many cousins yeah that we just like all shared our stuff yeah oh who's this, this what was it like to girl. be rich and have friends <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just I don't know. You got to use my stuff. I did. Sometimes. Yeah. I was just going to say, also, I know you weren't rich, but like to me, you were because <laughs> you had a pool. <laughs> well, I didn't have a pool until. I know. I don't even know. So I'm like, I, I was in high school. I think we were in high school. I just Maybe? was poor. <laughs> oh, I gotta figure. Uh, all that. Uh, Higher than uh, the Amanda show. Uh, oh, this, this is all that. that. That shit was funny. I'm mm. all that in a bag of chips. So good. So good. Uh, Keenan Thompson in the bathtub. Keenan and Kel. Oh mm, my God. Um, She's being. <laughs> Birdie. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that and clean that later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Amazing. Okay. All that. Yeah. We would say all that, all that in a bag of chips. Yeah. Couldn't be better. Could not be better. 100%. Also, I had such a crush on like so many of those guys. Oh, yeah. The kid with the brown hair. I don't know any of their names. No, but he was. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that was where my like love for funny guys came from. Yeah. Because I was just like, these guys could all get it. And I am a. <laughs> but <laughs> I love a guy that can make me laugh. Limited two. I don't know anything about that. Like, you don't know anything about limited two? That it's a it's a clothing store. Yes, and my mom would fight with the people. Yeah, so. every single time. Oh, I can smell that pee. <laughs> that is fragrant. That is fragrant. It is. That is dehydrated <laughs> piss. It was basically orange. I know. Her, I just cleaned her oh, water bowl, I... so I don't really know what her problem is. Anyway, my mom used to go to limited. We would go to limited too because I was like. I want limited too. And we would get these coupons and my mom would try and use them and they'd be like, I'm sorry, but you can only use those when it's raining outside. Like they would have some stupid (laughs) reason as to why we couldn't use the coupon. And my mom would fucking rage and scream (laughs) at the employees. And I'd just be sitting there on the couch, just like fucking twiddling my legs. Oh, they had a couch in the store? It was rich. (laughs) Yeah. And... (laughs) then my mom would always buy the stuff yeah because it's already rung up she's like i'm fucking leaving and you'll never see me again and <laughs> they sent us another coupon and we were back there yeah, yeah we always went back but she yelled at them every single time Hilarious. um i would say your mom i'm gonna say eat my shorts because i can fucking afford that <laughs> shit. i would say my mom <laughs> let's do two more okay Rocket Power TV show. Oh my god! All that in a bag of I'm want to fuck that that <laughs> rocket kid. I was trying to woogity you. Oh woogity woogity woogity. I don't want to fuck that kid, that cartoon. <laughs> Just so that's I should reiterate. As a child, as a child, I wanted you to were attracted to kiss that girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The purple hair. Come on, yeah. she was so cool. Also, mm. I kind of had a thing for the old Hawaiian dude. Is that weird? <laughs> kind of. 
<laughs> All right. Well, apologies. What Were they in it? Hawaii? Uh, I think maybe. I'm okay. not sure. Okay. We're going to end on this one. Okay. Bop it. I just bought my kid one for You did? Yes. <gasps> Pull it. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. Slap it. <laughs> Doink it. Yank it. <laughs> Slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> twist it they did have a twist it they Beep. did yeah <laughs> shake flick it, it. <laughs> they did have a flick it they did have a flick it yeah near, kept, near 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 you had to get the bop it extreme or whatever mm. it was i remember playing just the bop it. it regular is just this guy uh-huh you can pull bop it. it pull it twist it yeah bop it pull it twist it bop it pull it yeah. It was fucking crazy. Then you could get the one that's got six fucking things. Yeah. Bop it. Slap it. Twist it. Flick it. Pull it. <laughs> uh, I remember playing it at a sleepover at um, the girl who had a bunch of Barbies that were in mint condition and we weren't allowed to play with them. I fucking love that house. <laughs> Me too. Great. We played Bop It at her house. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember that's like a core memory of mine. Now. Why was every time anybody went to her house, she was like, "Let's play Barbies." <laughs> yeah, she's like, "Let's play Barbies. Let's go up to my room, but don't fucking touch any of those." Well, and the ones. funnest part was that we could pick which Barbies we wanted. Like it was like dodgeball for Barbies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we weren't allowed to get some of them out of the box. But you could still pick them. Yeah, where are we putting Bop It? All that in a bag of chips. Yeah. Okay. So fun. Barbies. B- all that in a bag of chips. Barbies, you think I fucking loved barbies i was gonna go your mom <gasps> i played with barbies like we said i i got a lot of my inner trauma out i think with barbies i know i think that's why i, I don't like thinking about them mm. because it reminds me of trauma <laughs> mine was like that was like what kept me afloat for a yeah. while speaking of them. floating I, do, I don't know if i talked about this before in one but my sister um used to carry Barbies with her everywhere, like multiple and none of them ever had clothes on. Sure. And I remember she took them to Disney and she just like threw a bunch of naked Barbies in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all these naked Barbies floating in the Disney pool. Dude, she used to do that a lot. I, I think I remember going to like swim with you guys somewhere at like a public pool and she would bring all her naked Barbies. <laughs> She's like, all right, got my floaties, got my naked Barbies. Let's go. <laughs> We're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you bring this to swim? Yeah. Oh. Good times. Good times. Guys, that was fun. That was fun. We could do this forever, I feel. Yeah, but. Thanks for going down memory avenue with us. Yeah. If there's any uh, other tiers you would want us to do, if you hated this, like, so sorry. So um, but sorry. if you liked it and you wanted us to do it again with something else, some yeah. other uh, topic. Yeah. Genre. Give us, yeah, give us yeah. topics. Give us genres. <laughs> Get a raise if you will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that on your 90s and early 2000s nostalgia. Yeah. Um, if you disagree with us, so sorry. Leave it in the comments. Tell us where you would rank shit. Yeah. And then we'll all go on with our lives because none of this uh, doesn't. None it's of this not matters. real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. We love you so much. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.